Hello there, Echo here. This is going to be a single uh, single player let's play of the new Feed the Beast Ultimate mod pack, which is in beta 0.1.1, I think. Um, does it tell me on here? Da, 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 da. Doesn't tell me on here, but I'm going to start a new world. Just going to call it Real Original. Let's play. And we'll see what we get. Now, things I look for when I start a world is I want to be somewhat near an NPC village. Because I like them. Let's have a quick read of that. That's all fan. I like great click on add. Um, I like an NPC village. I like to be in a normal, normal biome for bees. I also like it to be somewhat flat. But, uh, so I'm not a massive fan of where I've started here, to be honest. I'm going to head that way. I'm not a fan of floating islands either. Let's get down here without dying. So, I'm going to find somewhere nice. And then I'll be back, because you don't just need to see me running around in a, an empty map. So, I should be back in a moment. So, back we are, and um, my search for a flatland's not going so well. A couple of things I've noticed different from the version of Feed the Beast I've been playing. I've been playing the Minecraft version. Um, obviously, you'll notice the map down there on the bottom right is different. And you'll see that there's a lot of little creatures and stuff on the map. I was wondering why the Ultimate Pack didn't have raised mini map, and I guess this is the reason why. This is a mod that I don't know the name of. But well, on the radar, there it shows all the nearby creatures, both friendly stuff like sheep and zombies and all kind of stuff. So, all I've done really is I've made a bed, as you can see. Uh, I've got a couple of wooden tools, indigo flower, that'll come in handy later. Killed a couple of cows. And I was passing this hill, and as you can see there, to the south of me, there's a farmcraft structure. So I thought I'd come and um, have a look at it. If I get on to turn the map off. Now, I've not been to one of these with bad tools. I'm guessing I'm going to need an obsidian pick to get the... Well, that's going to be a mess to start with, isn't it? I, don't, I can't see me doing very well against a wisp with a wooden sword and no armour. So, let me quickly steal all this stuff and try and get out of here with my life. So I'm going to run away. I think I might be looking at my first death here. Now, I think what I need to do is use some of this cobble that I've got. Need one more bit of cobble. Let's jump in here for a second. Clear all this out. Get a furnace med. Get my beef in there. Now what can we use? What can we use? Cut a bit of a tree down. Already missing my axe of the stream. I'll have to nerd pole up there because. Um, first of all, let's throw some wood in there. Let's get that beef cooking. I'm 
know how big this tree is. That, that's, all, that's all good. So, I've had a little adventure up to there. I've stolen some stuff. Let's see what we got. Uh, got some silver, some iron, a bit of redstone. Saddle. Should always have a saddle. A bit of wheat. Uh, okay. No startling, but better than nothing. Get some steak eating. So once this is cooked up, I'm going to break my furnace. I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go north. See the autumn woods looking by onto the north there. I'm going to head that way, I think. See if it flattens out a bit. And look for an NPC village. So now I've got the ability to make food. I've got an awesome weapon. I'm actually going to, while that food's cooking. Um, oops. So some sticks. This upgrade's so wonderful. Stone sword, like a boss. And already I'm running out of space. So I've got my furnace back, got some steak, my health bar's going up. So I'm going to get down from here, which I had a, bit of had a bit of a struggle getting up. There's a wisp down there, is that the same one that was there? Uh, yep, the wisp's still angry with me. I'm going to go for the water. So I'm going to head off. No, it's uh, not west, like, not east like I was going. Get away from this wisp, so I feel a bit, a little bit vulnerable. I've been through here once. This is where I killed the cows and got my so get me the uh, steak. Um, so I think I'll run the wisp. I'm in a jungle biome. Oops, keep, press, keep pressing escape for some reason. So, right, more boring stuff. I'm going to get into this different biome here. I think it's an autumn woods biome. This is an autumn woods biome. I'm going to see how this pans out. And uh, I'll be back in a while when I've found somewhere to call a base. Oh, something else. I pressed the wrong button then. I've changed my record button. Because F9 shows you the chunk uh, chunk boundaries, which is nice. You press F9 again, it gives you a chunk grid. So it's very nice if you build the chunks like I do. I like to keep things containing chunk lands after having a long time ago in tech it, having a nuclear reactor control system spread across chunk lands. And um, one chunk was loaded, one wasn't. Reactor went bang. Since then I've always used chunk lands to build to. So that's nice. So yeah, because of that, I've changed my record button. So I'll be back in a bit. So here we are back again. As you can see, I found an NPC village. Um, I've come quite a way. You can see I've I placed a chest 500 meters that way when my inventory got full. Um, I found another one of those thumb sorts of things. Um, I don't know if you can still see it on my mini map, but I found a couple more as well to the south of me. Uh, I'm thinking somewhere in this biome is where I'll be making my home. So I'm going to go check out that NPC village. There's uh, plenty of red rock around, which is good for making clay later on. Making lithium. For um, making iridium. He was in a fusion reactor, which I plan to get to at some point. So let's see what this village has. I'm playing this in a standard texture pack because see this being a beta I was going to use a feed the beast Sfax texture pack that I use on my uh, Minecraft server but I thought I'd just leave it standard for a while see how it looks I don't often play with a standard texture pack well with no texture pack should I say so this is going to be a bit awkward to get up there's a uh, 
So it looks like there's a Farmcraft tower up there. And is this a Mistcraft building? Looks like it. Possibly. Let's um, get a bit of dirt there. Let's see. What's in here? Oh no, it's not a Mistcraft, it's just a normal building. I've let him get out. Let's climb up here. Good cardio, these there. Steve's. Have a couple of carrots. Gonna be useful. Well, this village is a bit awkward, isn't it? Gravel. Problem with always using texture packs is I'm not sure what some of these textures even are, what some of these things even are. So I thought the gravel was cobble. This looks like the found tower. Yep, chicken nuggets for emeralds. Uh, I'm gonna get up and see what's in the chest up here, and then I'm gonna put a bed down and sleep for the night. Ah, knowledge fragments are coming handy. We'll take them. Um, I'll probably take the chest as well actually. I might just I'll sleep there and uh, I'll probably leave some stuff in the chest for now actually. And that's kicked me out of the, kicked me through the wall, which is fun. So I'll put my bed up in case I need it again. And uh, actually. Set that with me. A quick check, see if there's a Mistcraft building here or an apiary. Because I could do with, obviously, I could do with an apiary because I could do with stealing some bees. That's uh, not an apiary. Apiarist building, should I say? And squashed by the gravel there. For some reason, my sound's gone off as well. The in-game sound. Uh, it should have, should have sound, but I think I need to reload to kick it back in again. So let's check what these buildings are. Well, there's um, there's a forge that should have a chest in it. Well, that's nice and handy. I'm gonna have to leave some of this stuff in the chest though, but we'll we'll wear them. We'll keep that with us. Uh, let's just dump a lot of this stuff in there for now. We can always come back. I've got a steadfast drone out of one of the thumb totem things that I found. Um yeah, I'll leave that there, I'll come back for that in a bit. A little lava sauce there if we need one. Emeralds for apples, no thanks. That's just another one of big empty houses. What's that one? Of course. Left all my stuff in the chest, so no, I can't get into the house. That gravel's not going to be much help, especially now that I've lost my shovel. All going wrong. Let's get a bit more gravel with the sh axe, even though it's a bit longer. Get a bit of this red cobble. OK, 
chest, that's just another one of them houses with nothing in. I don't know why I'm actually that bothered about what kind of houses they've got yet. They've got a thumb tower, so I've got a chest there, and they've got the the um, forge. So that's two useful chests I got. Pause my vent there. Uh, I also got a carrot, which is also very useful. I can start cooking. Uh, I can get a little carrot farm set up. Get myself some food. Let's have a look what's in here, and then got the door up there. Well, that's not real awkward, is it? Then once I've done this, I led back down to my plains there. I set up a little house. And then, that'll probably do it for this episode, and what I'm going to do off camera is do the usual, do some start-up mining, get some resources, hello guy, gold ingots for emeralds, I don't think these have chests in do they, uh, no nothing up here, well, nice little village once I can work out where uh, actually I might go over there I right, look at it over there nice and flat so yeah nice little village once I can sort the paths out around it make it a bit safer I'll put some fences around it protect the villagers Um, no apiary though which is unfortunate I was hoping to borrow an apiary um, this could be dangerous. We so let's get over here. A nice ravine there. That'll have plenty of resources in it. And I think Birch Forest, yeah, that'll do us. Get down around water level ish. On this level. Right, I'll cut some of these trees down, make an house, collect for various things, get a bit of initial mining done, and uh, steal them bees as well. Find some sheep, get some cows. And once I've got all that set up, I'll. Uh, to episode 2 which will be tomorrow so thanks for watching if you want too boring just running around doing nothing really but uh, I hope you join me again I'll see you next time cheers bye